Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today I'm going for another shave just on a bit more than two days growth, which is a perfect amount for me. Ready to mow it right down. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and some good good shaves. Um, just relaxing on the weekend. Feeling good. All right, so as for the software today, going with one of the original or one of the, uh, the older bases that um, Spearhead Shaving has created. This one is the experimental version. It doesn't have the, um, the version on the lid, but it has on the side label. This is the 20.1 Frisure. I believe Frisure is a French word for barbershop. Um, not sure, but it's a, it's in a different, it's in a different language. I believe it's a dupe of the Acelerant uh, River Gauche, one of the popular barbershop fragrances known in the wet shaving community. Got it lathered up, my Captain's Choice Bowl. Quite creamy and very easy to lather. Got it lathered up using my Simogue 1250 bar brush. Um, this one, I, th I think I'm still breaking it in. It has some scrub, maybe a little bit of scratch to it, so I'll be using this more often. <clears throat> and uh, let's get it going. Let me wet the face and get some pre-shave on. All right. Got my, working through my Q2.0 still. Adding some of that slickness and menthol onto the face. <clears throat> mm. Let me hydrate that a bit more. Work it in. All right. After going through the PAAQ 2.0, I still have, I have some sterling pre shade left. So I'll be going through that. <clears throat> and I'll probably be sticking to sterling pre shaves if it works fine. Um, I think PAA did increase her cube cost. I mean, it's a huge, size so might be uh I'll call it reasonable but still i'm gonna try out the sterling pre-shave afterwards see how that goes all right got it lathered bowl lathered here with my boar brush let's see how this goes hmm nice scent to it believe um fine american blend is similar Sent to this one. Hmm. All right. Lathering with this brush today, it's feeling pretty soft actually. <clears throat> I did soak it for a while, probably a couple hours before the shave. But it has a pleasant scrub to it, not much scritch, so I'm enjoying it so far. All right, you can use some more water, so let me add a bit more. everywhere. I've got all 
one does. Mm. Very nice. I believe this <clears throat> this base from Spearhead is pretty close to the the C fourth line. I know they were messing with it a bit, trying to figure out the best <clears throat> version of the base before releasing their product. And I believe um, C4 line base is pretty, pretty darn good. <clears throat> this one might be a bit different, just they might have tweaked it a bit, but it's fairly close to the C4 version. All right, well hydrated. Let's get on shaving. Going back to the Rockwell 6C gunmetal finish, um, paired with the Astra SP on its third use, probably my last use with it. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'm expecting a great shave with it because it's given me, has been giving me fine shaves for the last couple times. Here we go. First pass through with the grain. <clears throat> Very nice. Good amount of blade feel. Doesn't feel dangerous. Very nice. I'm using the plate six on this C. Probably the only plate that I'll be using for a while because I do like that extra blade gap and Efficiency. Could probably use plate five, but I enjoy the extra blade fill from the increased plate. So <clears throat> yeah, sticking to this for now. Very easy shave. Almost of a autopilot shave for me, but I still feel the blade here and there, so gotta be careful with it. All right, excellent first pass. Let me rinse up. Second. All right. Ooh, that's very slick. Yep, good amount of residual slickness. Still got some stubbles there, so we'll be cleaning that up on the next pass. Plenty of lather left here. Already well hydrated. Hmm. Yeah, once broken in, this these Samog bore brushes feel excellent on the face. I do have to load heavy with them all the time, but that's fine with me. Got plenty of soaps to go through. All right, second pass across the grain. Super smooth. Taking the corner of the mouth. Rays are just gliding like a dream. Mm, very nice. I am interested in getting a couple more razors to try out. I've pared down my collection. Mm, sold off maybe like seven or eight razors. I still have plenty to go through, but I am interested in more of the, more of the efficient options. Uh, 
I'm interested in a couple of the Razor Rock options. They do have quite a bit of their stainless steel offerings. I was looking into the BBS AS Razor, but um, there was a shaver that did a review on it. I think his name's uh, or his channel is called OJ Shaves. His video was actually featured on the Italian Barber site, so it was pretty cool to see. He did an excellent head shave with that razor and compared it to the Game Changer 0.84, which is one of my favorites. I think he said on his review, it's fairly close to the Game Changer, but felt smoother, but similar in efficiency. So I might pass on that. Since I'm looking for a little more efficiency than the Game Changer, um, I'm actually interested in the stainless steel Lupo, the dual comb, that, that one looks pretty enticing to me. So I might try that one out. All right, here we go. Well, it's an excellent second pass, no irritations so far. Let's go for some cleanups. Also, I've been looking into the above the tie razors. They're a older razor maker, but the design on the head just looks looks great to me. Uh, similar to how uh, Sterling made their stainless steel razors, the head design, um, I dig it. So I might try the, that one out uh, later than the year. All right, let's go against the green. Ooh, super smooth. I don't have too heavy of growth, but going against the green can be rough sometimes. Something that helps me with against the grain is using a blade that fits my skin and also using a fresh blade. Anything over three uses, it tends to tug a bit. So um, that's how I can tell usually uh, going against the grain. All right, let's focus on the chin here. Very nice. Reduce the growth down pretty close. Just gonna go for one more cleanup and should do it. Yeah, and so those are the couple razors that I'm looking into. Some of the razor rock stainless steel options and above the tie. What else is there for efficient razors? Uh, I mean, you can go into Pretty. You can go into other options like there's a hair cream shave, there's carbon, a little more into the higher end options, timeless. But I'm looking into more, a bit more of an affordable option. Maybe around 100, maybe a little less. So I think those fit. Uh, what I'm looking for because I, I, I have plenty of razors to go through I love the sterling razor I love this razor I like the game changer so at this point it's just more of just trying out different stuff rather than looking for a holy grail razor because I have plenty to I mean a lot of the razors that I currently have shave well for me so it's more of a kind of an adventure I guess Just having fun with the hobby rather than trying to get a better shave. All right. Oh, yeah, 
lather is all over my hand. But thanks to the knurling on the handle, still able to grip it pretty well. All right. Last cleanup pass on the chin. Here we go. Just rinse that off the neck. Do some skin stretching. <clears throat> oh, almost cut my lip there. That is so smooth. There's only a couple razors that I can go against the grain and still feel comfortable. This one's one of them for sure. All right. Wow. Excellent shape so far. Let me rinse up and uh, see how it went. I didn't really check on how close it was, but I'm pretty sure it's very close to BBS. Oh yeah, almost nothing on the chin, the neck, very close. Yeah, that's a BBS. That's a comfortable BBS. I'm not seeing any nicks or feeling any irritations. Let me check it with the alum block, alum stick. Make sure the skin is hydrated so that the alum glides over the skin. Here we go. A little bit of sting on the mustache, a little bit on the chin, and a little bit on the neck. So, not quite, it wasn't a perfect shave, but it was very close to it. It was a great shave, not much sting with the alum. Skin's feeling fine. Yeah, Rockwell 6C really does some work. The Spearhead Experimental Soap provided excellent slickness. Smells great. Probably like 3 out of 10 in scent strength. But I like that more subtle scent rather than uh, boom right there banging on your nose. So uh, yeah, enjoy the shave today. Mm enjoyable all right well thank you guys for watching went through shade with rockwell 6c samog 1250 bore and the experimental spearhead so hope to bring you guys more shades in the future this is tim shades now see you guys next time see ya